Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, Michael here. In this video, we look at the installing process of Fedora. I will show you how you can use the full potential of ButterFS subvolumes to be able to take snapshots of the system with a tool like Timeshift after installation. So let's get started. The currently brand new version of Fedora 38 workstation is installed at the basis. It means the Fedora version comes with GNOME. Your preparation will be to download the ISO from the Fedora site and ideally verify its checksum. I have already demonstrated how to do this. You can find the videos on my YouTube channel. I demonstrate the installation in VirtualBox. If you install physically, you still have to flash the ISO onto a USB medium or DVD using a tool like Etcher and connect the installation medium to the computer. You may have to go into BIOS and turn off Secure Boot on the computer for Legacy Boot and possibly change the boot order so that the system starts from USB or DVD before hard drive. After, you can start Fedora. We are now entering exactly at this point the so-called live mode. Hello there, welcome back. In this chapter, I'm going to show you how you can install Fedora. In my case, I started Fedora 38, the preview version, and now I'll lead you through the installation process. Now let's give it a start. I will click install to hard drive. Depending on your location, may a language is pre-selected. I will switch that now to English. And here I choose United Kingdom. You can choose whatever you want. And continue. Don't know why it's now in German language, not to worry. It's just a hint that it's not the final released version, it's just pre release, and that's all. Now it's switched to English. As you can see here in the section installation destination, there is something to do. We are going to click on it. And now I will change the storage configuration from automatic to custom. And then, done. Now it's very important if you want to encrypt your data on a hard drive, then I recommend to do it right now to mark this line. Otherwise you may forget it later. So please do it right now if you want to encrypt. Then the next step is to click here to create them automatically. We have now to perform two changes. The name of the volumes is incorrect for the ButterFS subvolumes. If you later want to use a tool, for example, Timeshift, then this will pop up that not all related subvolumes are present. If you want to use this, you should follow my instructions now. Here we have to add an add sign for home. For root, we're going to click on it. And then in the field name, switch it to a simple add. Now let's check again. We have here at home. And here we have just an add sign. That's what we want. And now we are already done. I'll click done. Now I have to provide my passphrase. and then save passphrase. There is a summary of the changes I performed. I recommend you to have a quick overview. For me and for my point, it's okay. I accept the changes and then we can start the installation. Click on begin installation. Now it's time for a small break for a coffee or some drink or some beer, whatever you prefer. We'll be back after the installation is done. Stay tuned.
So, hello again. We are back, or we are done. The installation is complete. Now it is left to click Finish Installation. And now you can continue to operate with the live system, or if you want to go on with the initial setup with your new machine, then you should reboot the system, or you have to power it off, unplug the installation media, and then start it as usual. Welcome back. We rebooted our system and now we are facing the Welcome Assistant. Welcome to Fedora Linux 38. I will now start the setup. Location services and automatic problem reporting, it's up to you to decide how to proceed with it. From my side, I will deactivate both. Next. Third-party repositories is, in my opinion, a good thing. I will activate this. If you want to stay only with open source software, then I recommend you to just click Next. Otherwise, if you are using third-party drivers or apps, then you should enable third-party repositories. And then click Next. For now, I won't connect online accounts. I click Skip. About me, who am I? Or who are you? <laughs> it's the same. You have to enter your username. And then click Next. And now you have to set a strong and complicated password. And be a little bit more creative than me when choosing a password. Next. All done. Start using Fedora Linux. You can now take the tour through GNOME 44. I will click through it. Take the tour. Start it. Click. Get an overview. Just type to search. Keep on top with workspaces. Up, down for an overview. Right, left for workspaces. That's it. Enjoy the rest of your day. That sounds good. So we are done with the installation of Fedora 38. Let's come to the conclusion. The installation step is complete. You have now installed your Fedora Linux system and can familiarize yourself with it. I want to congratulate you on that. I hope Fedora not only offers you the manufacturer independence and freedom you are hoping for, but will also give you a lot of fun. A new Fedora version comes out every six months, but don't worry. The upgrade can be done online with less effort. If you enjoy the video and enjoy watching Linux and FOSS videos in general, then this is a good time to subscribe to the channel for free. Just click on subscribe, also on thumbs up and activate the bell. We both have something of that. Thank you for the kind attention, ladies and gentlemen, and see you soon. Peace.